first light is when you use your astrophotography equipment for the very first time. This was a crucial first light moment for me. You see, I had made a promise to myself that by the end of this year, I would photograph my first deep sky object. And uh, that meant a whole new setup. And so I got everything put together and now I just needed some dark skies, which meant getting out of New York City. Well, luckily, my friend invited me up to Maine for the weekend, a place abundant with dark skies. So I packed up my new equipment, rented a car, and we drove up. And once we got there, we took a ferry to a small island in Casco Bay, and I got ready to take my first deep sky image. And the setting was perfect, like unobstructed views of the night sky, which I could never get in New York City. So I got my rig set up and waited for it to get dark. And that's when it all went terribly wrong. <laughs> you know, astrophotography is kind of like rocket science. It, it feels like you're on this mission where a thousand different things have to go right. And if one thing goes wrong, the entire mission is ruined. Well, for me, I just could not get my telescope to focus. And no focus means no imaging. So my first light session uh, ended up unsuccessful. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still had fun up in Maine and I had lobster on my birthday, so I can't complain. But as I was driving back to the city, you know, I just was so disappointed in myself to, to waste a perfectly dark sky like that. And I'll be honest with you, I fell into a funk. I uh, questioned why I chose this hobby in the first place. And I seriously thought about selling my equipment and just cutting my losses. I mean, I should just stick to playwriting. But damn it, I want to be an astrophotographer. So uh, a few days of moping around and then I was back at it. Back to the basics. I took everything apart, reread all the user manuals, retested all of my equipment in daylight, and uh, yeah, I felt a little better, uh, more confident. I was ready for another shot. And then the weather was like, not today or this week, buddy. So now I'm running out of time. The weather's getting colder. I'm losing my motivation. And, you know, maybe I'll just wait till next year. And then it happened. Tonight, there would be clear skies. And it's the only clear night this week. My mind feels a bit more clear and uh, I'm also managing my expectations as long as I can get through a polar alignment I'd be happy with that. I think about how intimate this hobby is. It's just me in the night sky and I'm finally okay with the fact that my first light session didn't go well because there's another first light. The first light of a galaxy when you take its photo. I check my scope and it looks like my polar alignment is good. Uh, my telescope is focusing. This looks very promising. But things are weirdly falling into place now. Like my guiding is good. I slew my telescope to Andromeda. It finds it, like no errors. This is actually working. So, I mean, there's only one thing left to do. I take a shot and I wait. If there is a line I cut from one of my plays, it reads, Humans try to will an outcome with their hearts, and most of the time it ends in spectacular defeat. But sometimes, their hearts yearn for something so badly that it aches. And sometimes their aching is so powerful, it compels the universe to listen. <laughs>